All right, uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for clicking on the video. As you can see, it is another playthrough of a Mortal Kombat 2 remix. It is a Mugen game. Now, I figured I would just start with this brief introduction. Uh, in regards to Mugen games, either you love them or you hate them, or you have no opinion on them. Let me tell you about my uh, experience personally with them. Now, I've seen them for probably a couple of years in videos. I've watched uh, Mugens. I call them Mugens. If they're Mugens or Muggins, whatever the hell they're called, I'm calling them Mugens. But I've seen them before. And, uh, you know, they, they piqued my interest, but some of them were just so far-fetched. And I thought, uh, some of these characters, they don't belong in Mortal Kombat. This is ridiculous. I'll watch it. It's entertaining for a few minutes. But uh, ultimately... I had no interest. I wanted to stick to the originals, which, I mean, I still love way more than the uh, than the Mugen games. But I had seen a Mortal Kombat 2 remix, and uh, I figured, you know what? Uh, I think it was on Headlock Gaming's channel, and uh, I said, you know what? I'm going to, uh, I, I want to check this out. If it's easy to download and, and, and play, and again, too, I'm computer illiterate, so that was another problem. I was like... Uh, are these hard to run? Like, you know, do I need a really high-end computer? I don't know any of that crap. So when I saw Mortal Kombat 2 Remix, I was like, wow, that one looks actually really good. All right, I'm going to try and then see if I can, can, can download it and then play it on my own and figure it out. And you know what? It took me like two minutes to, uh, to figure out. You download, you extract, and boom, you're, you're good to play. You do your input for, the, uh, for your controller configure it and you're good to go so these are real easy to uh, play and uh, they're really easy to find now that being said a lot of people ask for uh, links uh, in my videos they say can I get the link can I get the link I'm not gonna leave any links in my videos okay and the reason for that is because I don't want people downloading malware or viruses or whatever okay this stuff is possible it's possible. I, who knows? I might even have viruses on my computer running right now because of these uh, games that I've been downloading. I don't know, and I don't want to be responsible for any of that. So basically, if you, uh, I, I give the, the name of the game every time I play it. Just Google it, and you'll, you'll find it. And I'm telling you, when you, you download and extract it, and you, it's super easy to get going and to, uh, to play on your computers. So um, that being said, uh, if you're not familiar with uh, Headlock Gaming... Uh, with his channel he was the one who actually i was watching him on facebook probably a year and a half maybe two years ago and um and then uh, you know i started checking out his channel on youtube uh, just just a couple months ago and i noticed that in the descriptions for his videos and such there were uh there were links to uh to, to get some of these these games and you know i i took the plunge and, and i started playing them now uh in the beginning like i said i had zero interest in these they were fun to watch but i was like ah, i don't i don't really care to play them they don't they just they didn't look polished to me right like i was watching um they were playing with like doink the clown and they were playing with uh, shaggy and then uh, kung fury and while it was appealing to watch i was like i'll let this guy you know play it but i'm gonna stick with the original the original uh, versions of these games and i still do i still love those versions more than the mugens obviously but there are some really really good uh, Mugen versions and uh, you know what don't knock it till you try it like seriously because Mortal Kombat 2 remix it's a mix of Mortal Kombat 2 and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 and it works amazingly if you can get your hands on this one then I, I telling you right now play it it is awesome and then there's some other really good versions too I've also downloaded some really really crazy versions which uh you know I, i'd play once or twice and then that's it delete it off my computer and uh i have really no interest in playing it again but um you know if, if you if you look there's there's definitely a, a few uh, good mugens out there and uh they are definitely worth checking out so um yeah that's just my personal experience with these mugens uh, i'm gonna play through today with uh, kung lao kung lao who uh, mortal kombat 2 remix he is awesome in this version his fatalities are awesome his combos are awesome and um yeah this is my favorite uh, mugen version of uh, mortal kombat 2 uh, another great mugen to check out though is uh, the mortal kombat complete collection which is uh, mortal kombat mortal kombat 2 3 
Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, Mortal Kombat Trilogy, and a version of Mortal Kombat 4, uh, redone in like 2D or whatever. And this version is amazing. They, they actually have like the Sega Genesis uh, versions or sound effects uh, put onto like the, the arcade graphics and such. There's just so many variations in this. I think there's 11 games in total in that, that uh, collection. So uh, if you're able to come across that and get that playing on your computer, then then do it. But uh, anyways, I just wanted to leave that uh, brief uh, intro message or whatever to, uh, to those watching the video. And here we go with uh, Mortal Kombat 2 Remix with uh, Kung Lao. Kung Lao. And uh, enjoy, because this, this is friggin' awesome. Let me tell you right now. Every, every character I use in this game, I love. So uh, Mortal Kombat 2 Remix, the Mugen. All right, let's watch the introduction first before we jump into the uh, playthrough with Kung Lao. All original artwork here, but redone. Looks friggin' cool. I can't get over how beautiful this version looks. Even this intro here. That intro includes Noob and Smoke and Jade and Hornbuckle. Beautiful. Let's uh, jump right into it. Play through with none other than Kum Lao. Not sure if you uh, get other colors if you choose different uh, buttons to uh, choose the character, so we'll just choose Low Kick and see what color we get. Blue Pants? Who knows? So in this one, the uh, question mark is Hornbuckle, and the only way to uh, fight Hornbuckle is to uh, win, basically. You can't lose a match in this. I think you can lose a round, but you can't lose a... Uh, Dusty! You can't lose a match. So. We should be able to do it. I don't have it set very hard. I have it set to... Uh, the challenge level on this is set to fun. <laughs> That's what it's set to. Uh, pit 1. This is from uh, Mortal Kombat 1, obviously. Uh, Kung Lao has that Superman move in this, but it's only in the combo. It's not actually one of his uh, normal moves. His combos in this are pretty, uh, pretty decent. He's got uh, one new fatality in this. Uh, for this version, anyways, he's got uh, actually three fatalities. The pit fatality. Ooh, Molina is in pain for that one. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. All right, so the uh, stage rotation, anyone who's uh, seen me do one of these playthroughs knows that the uh, scene stage rotation isn't the greatest on these Mugen. It's very random, which means you see a lot of the same stages. Hopefully that doesn't happen in this one too much, and we see a lot of the different stages. But his combos in this are very cool. He still has that move. His hat. Alright, so we'll do the uh, tomb hit fatality in this one. Animation for Johnny Cage there, throwing that fireball is a little different. Let's knock him into the spikes. Alright, here we go. I got him. Forward, 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 high punch. Beautiful. Looks so cool. And the, the voice in this took a little bit of getting used to for me, but I, I love the voice in this now. Not quite as much as Steve Ritchie, but uh, still very cool. 
I mean, somebody, I, I think they said it's the voice of Shell and Monks anyway, so maybe it is still Steve Ritchie, but it just sounds different. Unfortunately, we got the Combat Tomb again. Against the Tomb Cybot. Let's do a fatality on him. We'll do the uh, the new version of his uh, hat fatality where he knocks your head off. This is really cool. You guys are going to like this if you haven't seen it. Uh, guys and gals, sorry. <laughs> Love that. Lady, I like it! Alright, here we go. Now was that friggin' cool or what? Chops you up into three different pieces. That looks friggin' beautiful. Alright, we got the pit. Let's knock uh, Liu Kang into the pit for this one. You'll notice the music is a little different. You guys recognize this music? Because I do. I can't remember what, from what. I think maybe it was in a commercial or something. I don't know. Could be wrong, but it's very cool. You see Liu Kang with his uh, black pants. So Liu Kang from the first one. Colors, anyway. We're going to knock him into the pit. Why not? Love it. Keep track of how many combos I do drop. In this. See if it walks into it. Nice. Ooh. I didn't follow up. So cool. And this one's an absolute blast to play through, also. It is so much fun. Alright, we got Goro's Lair against Smoke. Smoke doesn't have a harpoon in this one. He has a, uh, like a cloud of uh, smoke or something that kind of works as a suction almost. I absolutely love the graphics on this stage, too. Busty! Oh. So there's a lot of, uh, yeah, jump-in combos for this. I mean, that's, that's your main go-to for this. Let's do... I got an idea. So we have this fatality from... Mortal Kombat 3. Slightly redone to look friggin' awesome. Very impressed with that one. Very cool. Let's see where we fight. Beautiful. Awesome. New stage to look at. This one is uh, drawn beautifully. Looks friggin' awesome. Jade has her moves from uh, MK Ultimate MK3 with the uh, look of Jade from MK2, so... Perfect. Outstanding. There you go. Awesome. I hope we get the Living Forest in this playthrough. That would be really cool. If not, I'll do a Babe Alley anyways. There's one drop combo. Let's uh, slice her in half. How about that? Such a good fatality. And I love the animation in this one. It's slightly different. The ending, he just holds his hat up. All right, unfortunately, we have the uh, same map, map again. I would 
love to play this one online. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure you can play it online. Could be wrong. There might be uh, some some requirement or something in order to do it online. But let's do a friendship to Katana. We like Katana. I want to show the uh, queen or the princess Katana. We want to show her some uh, some mercy. So let's do that. The yeah, motion is back, 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 down. High kick, same as the um, same as Mortal Kombat 2. However, you can use punch. You can use block. All right. Awesome. Let's see where we fight Raiden. Nice! We have the Living Forest finally. I don't think I've seen this one in a playthrough I've done yet. So we will uh, honor the tree demons with a sacrifice. Not just any sacrifice, but uh, the Thunder God himself, Raiden. Now, uh, Kung Lao's Babality in this is different from uh, different from Mortal Kombat 2. It's not back, back, forward, forward, high kick. It's forward, forward, back, back, high kick. Why they change it, I don't know. The animation on Raiden, very cool. Copy his move there. Awesome. We will feed the tree demon. I'll even point at the screen for this one. Awesome. And you got little uh, tiny uh, raid in there with his little staff. <laughs> Looks really cool. Wow, we got the pit. All right, cool. So let's do the uh, pit fatality. Or the acid pool fatality, sorry. Against reptile. Looks good in this one. You'll notice slight differences. A reptile in this one. He grunts like a reptile. Clean that blood. Here we go. Fight. So the uh, acid pool fatality in this for all the characters is the uh, stage fatality mo motion. So it's not holding a low punch and low kick and then doing an uppercut. You actually have to uh, do your pit fatality. But uh, yeah, it looks really cool in this. Alright. You'll see skeleton smoking in this one. Your fatality is in green because it's against reptile. We can beat the next two characters. We get to fight Hornbuckle. So let's do a fatality again. Now that we've seen everything. We can knock him into the pit, but we're gonna, we're gonna do that with Hornbuckle, so let's... There you go. So let's finish him with the, uh, that hat fatality again. Ooh, nice. We've got some cool looking combos in this. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh. All right. Fatality. The animation on the uh, the body after the fatality there too is really cool. They did an exceptional job with this version. Phenomenal. I did a playthrough with Sub Zero a couple weeks ago on this, and uh, he's a lot of friggin' fun to use too. There you go. 
Let's do his fatality from Mortal Kombat 3 again. Dig it, dig it. Dig it. I find it just, it looks better than the uh, Mortal Kombat 3 Fatality. But here we go. Something interesting about this, I've noticed. And I will tell you what that is. Congratulations. You have found the passage from the Outworld to the Earth Realm. You must now battle with an undiscovered warrior from Mortal Kombat 1. Prepare yourself. To get to the top of the map. So, this here... I, I could swear this is the, um, this is already the Outworld. I could be wrong. Maybe it's not, but, uh, I thought this was already the Outworld. But, uh, yeah, the animations for this level is just... Flawless. Hornbuckle has a cool uppercut. His, um, cartwheel uppercut is just a regular move in this, it seems. Nice. We are gonna knock him into the bottom of the pit. Ooh, both uppercut there. I was unaware that he could do that. Into the pity goes. I friggin' love it. That is so cool. You hear somebody using the uh, washroom upstairs. Did you hear that? Oh, is that funny, Shang? Alright, let's do this. So one cool thing, if you uh, do fight in this arena before fighting um, Shang Fun, then uh, you actually see him in the back watching also, and he's got a cloak. Keep the block more. There we go. Let's do something brutal to uh, Shang Fun. The reason I kept on muffing up that uh, five hits. Oh, I forgot about that one. All right. How about that, Shao Kahn? I bet you're pissed about that one, aren't you? All right, here we go. Kentaro is not too hard in this, which Your is great. Here is unwanted. Kill them, Kentaro. I love the extra speech there before the battle. Not blocking any of those. Nice. <laughs> Finish him off with a sweep. How about it? Nice. Fire in this one, very cool. There you have it. Final battle with Shao Kahn. Feel the wrath. 
ですか Let's talk to you, talk to you in this one. And the difficulty in this is very, very forgiving. I am playing on uh, basically fun difficulty. You know, you can crank up the hardness and the difficulty, but for these playthroughs, I just like demonstrating a lot of the, um, a lot of moves in the game, a lot of the animation stages, etc. No. There you have it. The incredible Mortal Kombat 2 remix playthrough with none other than Kung Lao. Now the animation for uh, Kung Lao at the end here is really cool. But he will return. There you go. The original artwork from Mortal Kombat 2. Basically in HD, I think. That right there. And there you have it. I'll let the uh, credits run to uh, give credit to those uh, who worked on the game. Thank you much. Thank you much. Thank you much, Barry. Thank you very much for uh, watching the video. Enjoy the rest of your life. Mmm, <laughs> side bonnets.